And welcome back. Well, the COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted traditional college education, and it will continue to do so for a while as many schools implement their online classes. So as these students begin another semester online, they may be looking towards alternative and more affordable options. So joining me now to discuss one of those affordable options is Dr. Angie Bessendorfer. She is a regional vice president with Western Governors University. And we're so excited to have her here. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning, glad to be here. Absolutely, thanks for joining us. I think so many people, um, they're ready to take on their education in a different way. And so I wanna know a little bit about you guys because you are fully online, you're a nonprofit, and you're designed for working adults. Is that right? That's correct. And our university has only ever been online. So we've actually designed our courses to really be engaging, even though they're online, and that we also have a very supportive structure of a faculty model where you'll have connections on a weekly basis with somebody who cares about you achieving your degree. Well, I think that's nice because it doesn't let go of that personal touch, right? And so many of us want that. We want that engagement or that communicational um, opportunity. So talk a little bit about what kind of um, options you have for graduate. I know you've got um, uh, master's and, and undergraduate degrees. Right. We only do bachelor's and master's degrees and only in high workforce need areas. And what that means is when you get a degree from WGU, you're going to get a job. Um, more importantly, what that means is when you get that job, you're going to earn more money. And our graduates are making about $20,000 on average within four years of graduating, which is twice the national average because we offer degrees in those high workforce needs areas of education, um, health professions, business, and IT. What, do, what does competency-based programming mean? I'm so glad you asked that question because sometimes it's very confusing, but competency-based simply means that a course takes you as long as it takes you to prove you've mastered the concept. And so if you're an adult learner and you've been doing things like you've been doing bookkeeping for quite a while, you're going to know quite a bit about accounting. So if you come to Accounting 101, that course shouldn't take you very long because you only need to prove you already know the information. You don't have to sit through classes waiting for to get to content that you don't know. You prove what you know, learn the rest and finish your course. See, I think that's great because for someone like myself or, or many people who are watching, maybe we have um, an undergraduate from years ago, but we want to advance our, our learning to a master's and we're not really sure how competent we are anymore. So to know that, and I think what speaks to that is how you charge because you're not a per hour or, or a, um, a, even a per course, right? It's, it's separate than that. It's different than that. Exactly. And so the competency-based model allows you to accelerate and go as quickly as you can. And because of that, we use a flat rate tuition based on time, not based on courses. So it's a, a flat rate of about $3,500 for six months of education, all you can learn. Wow. Okay. That's like a buffet of education right there. <laughs> I love it, it really and is. And that includes your textbooks. That's incredible. And you think about um, a university that a lot of people look at, it, it could charge you upwards of 20, 30,000 if you're looking private or whatnot. It, it seems like most of your average courses are about 15 grand. Is that average? So for a full degree, it's about $15,000. And so that means that you're in control, you move as quickly as you can. And on average, our students are earning a degree for about $15,000 when the national average for a degree is $90,000. Wow. Yeah, I suppose, because you're thinking at the full four years, you're right, that that averages out to a, a lot more than that. And one thing that you guys do is you, you increase pre-enrollment salary by what? Because this is, I think, an important piece of the puzzle. Right. By about $20,000. And our graduates typically are working full time while they attend school full time. So that's $20,000 on top of the job that they had before which is very significant. And on average, our graduates are graduating within about two and a half years. Wow. See, one thing I think, doctor, that, that people hesitate for going back to school or continuing education or even starting education is the debt that they graduate with. And that's something that I, I know you take seriously, obviously, with this pricing model, but also there's opportunities to, to help them too, correct? 
Exactly. So we offer a lot of scholarships, but right now we have a very special resiliency grant that we're working with to help people who have been impacted by COVID. And so, you know, if you've lost your job, if your if your husband has lost her, his job or whatever, and your family is is being dramatically impacted, we have resiliency grants. We've set aside two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to award in four thousand dollar segments. And so the award is a four thousand dollar grant to help you get on with your life and get past this tough time. That's pretty incredible. I know it's IT, it's education, it's nursing, um, there's healthcare in general that you offer. I think all these types of positions that people are drawn to and they know they can get jobs in right now are so important to get that education in. So what do people do? What's the step to take from here? So it's really easy. You can just go to wgu.edu and if you'll fill out the application, there's an application fee waiver that's now free. So just type in now free and you won't even have to pay an application fee. And an enrollment counselor will be in touch, work with them. You can start on the first day of any month. And so as soon as you get your all of your information in, your transcripts in and all of that, you'll be accepted and you can start on the first day of the next month. Love it. Dr. Bessendorfer, thanks for joining us this morning. Glad to be here. Thank you. So right now, just as she mentioned, the Morning Blend viewers can waive their application fee at Western Governors University just by using the code now free. To learn more, just give them a toll free call at 866-225-5948. Or you can go online to the website she mentioned, wgu.edu.